Hello guys and welcome back. In our last part we finished up the basic training with the stick. And now we're pretty much free to do a couple of things. Uh, there's something going on on the guild woods so we gotta go there and take care of it. It's really uh, easy stuff. Use your stick. The game just gets a little harder later on, but then if you know what you're doing, it might become a little more easier though. So, yeah. And I'm gonna kill these beetles. It's basically the first enemies you have. Yeah. Take that. Later on, enemies will give you more experience orbs. Okay. Alright, got him. Well done, lad. The beetles are all dead. You can come out of the woods now. And now we have to talk to the guild master to get awarded. More like a cutscene, I guess. Each time you finished up a mission, you automatically get what you need, so, yeah. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. No, we have to help the Come people in the village. You look tired so, after killing those beetles. first off, let's uh, pick up four apples. There's a mini quest around here. <coughs> okay. Now let's go. I mean, there's always this uh, particular mission that I'm not going to do. It's a uh, race between two idiots around here but it's really not worth it you don't get anything I have to make an apple pie for the guildmaster at the end of the week but I can't find any more red apples I only need another four if you find enough can you bring them back here I'll... and you give her the apples thanks thank you so much the guildmaster will get his pie here ha so we get a blueberry pie it's really not a big deal, but in this game, um, food and potions uh, restore health, so the more we have, the better, oh, I guess. Boy. Thank you so much, uh, hero. Can't recall if there was stuff here, but I guess not. So let's go. And there's another green dot down there. Let's check it out. I forgot that this kid could run, so now I'm just running around, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got a cutscene up here. The journey's length is of no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face. The signs are too strong to ignore and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? That maze is like a walking flashlight. I think there's a book? Yeah. Jack of Blades. I'm going to be collecting books for a little purpose later on. Uh, and then I'll I'll tell yeah, you well, guys what do you think, like, and I yeah, we'll time. get to that later. So we're done with the important side quests around the village. Now we go talk to the guildmaster so he can 
take us to the next step of the training, which is pretty cool, I guess. You look tired. Your training is about to begin. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Alright, so we have grown up. I'm gonna change clothes. I like the hooded apprentice outfit. There we go. And let's go. Do -do -do -do. She says race you there, but she really doesn't race you. Whoa, wrong way. Unless she does, and she's so slow that you don't see her for a while, or maybe not, I don't know. So, let's see, those guys are still there, so... I really wouldn't bother, you don't get anything from them. I mean, you go race with them, and then they say, oh, racing is for babies. And I'm like, ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> Late again. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. So now we got a, our first weapon. Now we gotta connect hits to Whisper. And we just have three phases of training here. Now pay attention. What I'm about to. Now we practice defense. You can't stop me every time. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, oh, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some foul boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learned the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Alright, so now we have a... Well, like a normal fight, I guess. Alright. Take this. <laughs> that thing with my, when my sword glows is when the... It can break her defense. That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Very good, lad. Keep fighting like that and you'll go far. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Alright, this has been Sumachi and see you next time.